Okay, we got to talk about something that's just been huge that we've been waiting for, which is that Ben and Jen finally announced their divorce, which, you know, in the papers, it said they've been separated since April 26th, I believe was the day. So it's been a long time coming. Obviously, we've been hearing, you know, the hoofbeats coming. This is not news to anybody. But you and I were talking. I assumed that there was a prenup or that everybody has enough that nobody's going to put up a fight. But then I just saw, again, which I didn't think about, is what they've both done in the two years they've gotten mar- they've been married for. They don't have a prenup. That means it's all community property, including his new Ben's new production company back with Matt Damon. And oh. she had the album, th- two or three movies, the documentary. So potentially it could get very, very messy. That's what I was saying yesterday. I was like, no, there's no prenup, which I don't even understand that. You know, like you hear, and we'll get into Taylor and Travis soon, but like you hear all this, that that's apparently what's taking so long. And it's like, Rightfully so. I just want to know who will gain from this. Like, is it his production company? Did she do more during? Well, we don't even know if they're going to fight over it. We don't. We have This is all speculation, and it was basically just a list of everything that they are technically each entitled to. But again, we don't know the paperwork. We don't know, you know, how everything is set up. No, I have a weird, and like, when does it ever end amicably in Hollywood or anywhere? I just feel that they will just part ways, right? I, like, do I think, get the impression I think they're done with it? They're, they're both just going to walk away. Yeah. That's what I think. But we've seen, I mean, the Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie fight has been going on for how many years now? Right. And so you just don't know. No, I thought Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were like soulmates before well, all. Is anyone really a soulmate? No. You know. I mean, I'm cynical, remember? Me too. So, yeah, but you're engaged. That doesn't mean I'm not cynical. <laughs> that's true. So, I think that's a big one. But speaking of Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez is right on the cusp of this, we have a bunch of new empty nesters, yes. celebrity empty nesters, starting with Violet Affleck. Yeah, she's at Yale. She started at Yale. Ben and Jen both took her. There were pictures of them both getting off the plane back in L.A. together. Which, that's so weird. But it just seems like they really seem to have a good co-parenting situation. And we even saw this summer their daughter, uh, one of their kids in the Hamptons with J-Lo. Right, she's involved too. First of all, Jennifer Gardner is like a saint. Because, I mean, she, I think the rumors were that was she was like guiding Jennifer Lopez on how to deal with Ben. And, yeah, right? Maybe. That's I don't a think. Saint. I feel like any animosity Jennifer Gardner and Ben Affleck had seems to have evaporated. Yeah. Because I don't think it, there, there was a lot of love. I don't think it was so amicable. No, at she's the beginning, with someone new, and he well, he's been with a few new people, but I do think that there some seems to be some kind of really good co-parenting or whatever it yeah. is. But it was fascinating that their daughter was with Jennifer Lopez in the Hamptons. That's the part that to me I don't really understand, but okay, I think there's something great about that. You do, and that makes me feel like, in some level, as much as I'm sure people were unhappy with how things were working out, it makes me feel like they kind of tried to keep it it, it civil. The kids out of it. And keep the kids out of it. And now there's relationships between all the stepkids, and you don't really want to, I would assume, rip them apart. No, but this is, they both do seem angry at each other, though, based on the, we haven't really seen anything except pictures, but... Way they're carrying each other, like themselves. Don't they seem angry at each other? Yeah, well, nobody no. seems happy. No. None of them seem happy, except for kind of, you know, Jennifer Gardner, who's got all of her little um, funny YouTube stuff and online stuff and the fake cooking show. She seems to be having a great summer. I mean, I'll keep it positive, but I think J-Lo just needs to take, you know, the rest of the year to be a single woman. Okay. My advice. But she loves being in love. 
I know, but but she loves being. This. But Elizabeth Taylor once said, "If I love them enough to sleep with them, I love them enough to marry them." Okay, well, J Lo is, I guess, on that track. on that track. Yeah. But we we digress from we digress. celebrity empty nesters. The other big one that went off to school uh, was Surrey Cruz going to Carnegie Mellon. Yes, and I read, I guess Tom Cruise is paying for the whole thing. Yes, that that was part of their divorce, was he will pay for all education. They have no contact. I heard Surrey is going by a different last name. Yes. At school. If that ain't a fuck you to your father. Well, yeah, and what's one of Angelina's children just did Just did that, too. They're all dropping pit. Interesting. Well, I mean... I don't really understand though what happened. To, I mean, not to digress, what happened with Surrey and Tom? Like, I don't. Well, really... he's a Scientologist, and yes. they left, and That's she is not is. where the kids okay. with Nicole Kidman, the two adopted ones, stayed in Scientology, which is why Nicole Kidman basically has no relationship with them. Man, okay, now I. Know. By the way, I am up for adoption for Tom Cruise anytime. You'll have to fight me for that. Yeah, you can I mean... adopt me. Anything. I wouldn't be, I would take Nicole and Keith at that. Yeah, they, they you know what? If any, Oprah. But see, oh God, yeah. remember, I have two dead parents. So technically, I am an orphan and could be adopted. Okay, so you go before me, is what you're saying. Yeah, That's pretty fair. much. But the That's problem fair. is, I have a child, which means there's, it's, what if I could get someone like an Oprah who doesn't have a child? Generational wealth. See, I'm not stupid. She'll have to adopt you and your child, though. Yeah, generational wealth. I, I come alone. I, I have no one. Uh, some of the other kids, uh, uh, Seinfeld's son moved into Duke, which is kind of ironic since I believe it was at the Duke graduation that they all booed Jerry. Yep. And now his son is a freshman. That could be a little awkward. A little awkward, but what a good school. Probably oh. the best school he got into, right? So well, he could have gone into a bunch, but a great school. And uh, Gwyneth. Gwyneth. Yale. The Brad stepdaughter Chats, yeah. is at Yale. Yale did some hardcore celebrity recruiting this year, Yale clearly. I mean, who says no to Yale? No one. Hate well, in Connecticut, it's not bad. No, but I do know people. I know someone who said no to Yale and Harvard to go to Penn. Really? Yeah. In your class? In my class. Or was that you? Uh, no, that was uh, not okay. me. <laughs> Was it you? No, it was someone, um, was he? No, my year. And it came down to who was going to give him the most money. Okay, that makes sense. Right. But I'm like, really? Well, I mean, Penn isn't uh, anything to sneeze or turn your nose up at. No, it's not. Um, Ivy League, darling. Please. Taylor Swift's annual Labor Day party. You 